Now, weather and your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Brad Sugden. Hey everyone, we're still tracking, unfortunately, some very warm and very humid conditions. Notice though, we are going to see a little bit of cloud cover, but a lot of this is going to be those high thin clouds throughout the day today. So some filtered sunshine will still make its way on through. Temperature wise, we're already into the 90s by the early afternoon. Notice all the clouds making their way off to the northeast. Now we do have a cold front making its way on through, so we'll pause the clock here at 5 o'clock. Notice Norfolk only 81 degrees. The cold front already passed, but we're still in the 90s in Omaha. So by 5 o'clock, the cold front pretty much going through to Kama, Fremont. Then it starts to finally blossom, set off some showers and thunderstorms. Some of those will swing their way on through the Omaha metro. But again, we're not really expecting anything to be severe. The best possibility for a severe storm is going to be well off to the northeast of Omaha itself. So you can see the storms really getting going up there. Otherwise, a pretty good chance overnight tonight that we'll continue to see a little bit of wet weather, especially for the south and eastern portions of our viewing area. Temperatures tonight going to get a little cooler than what we saw this morning. 84 degrees for our Labor Day itself. Still about a 30% chance that we could see another afternoon shower or thunderstorm develop as we go throughout our Labor Day. So keep those umbrellas handy just in case. Heading back to work and school on Tuesday, the morning commute could be a little bit of a wet one, so give yourself some extra time there as well. Some AM showers and thunderstorms are possible on Tuesday. Then temperatures fall actually down into the 70s, lower 70s by Friday and Saturday for the next Huxers game.